HMS Glasgow is due to begin sea trials this year, although there is still much work to be done before the ship is ready. Much of the ship is currently in the wiring stage, with a large number of fiber optic cables and power supplies connected to various consoles and equipment ahead of testing and commissioning. The 127mm MK45 gun and its fully automated ammunition system have been installed with the help of OEM staff from BES Inc. in the U.S. The Sea Scepter CAM, system is partly complete, but the MK41 VLSLs are yet to be installed and will be craned, possibly quite late in the delivery process that HMS Glasgow is a large warship. But when you visit in person, the interior space in Mission Bay is the most impressive feature of the frigate. The sense of space is further enhanced by the large opening leading to the expansive hangar and flight deck, capable of carrying a Chinook helicopter. A mission space handling system manufactured in Canada by Rolls-Royce is being installed on HMS Glasgow this week. The first time this type of specialist system has been installed on an RN ship, HMS Glasgow's expansive bridge is comparable in size to a QEC aircraft carrier and features raised sports car-style seats for the commanding officer and navigator. The bridge has a false floor, allowing cables to be hidden and allowing for easy reconfiguration of the console layout. Should the RN wish to implement changes or upgrades in the future on the deck below the bridge is a large operations room with communications and sonar offices to the port side. These spaces are yet to be fitted out, but this will be relatively simple as operators essentially sit at desks with screens rather than consoles. The core of the Type 26 frigate's combat capability lies in its combat systems, which are currently being integrated into HMS Glasgow. This approach marks a departure from the fragmented legacy systems previously found on Royal Navy warships. Historically, each sensor or effector would be equipped with its own bespoke hardware, software, and user interface, often from different suppliers. This increases the burden on maintainers and operators, while making interoperability more difficult. In contrast, the Type 26 adopts a common architecture based on commercially available COTS equipment unified through what is known as Shared Infrastructure Version 4, a standardized computing and networking environment across the ship. Shared Infrastructure provides a robust, virtualized combat computing environment. Aft of the Ops Room is one of two large server rooms that provide the backbone of the ship's data processing and computing power. For redundancy, there is an identical server room aft. Software and data payloads can be seamlessly migrated to the other without user disruption. If the primary operations room is disabled, the ship can be commanded from a secondary location using the same systems, a level of survivability unmatched by any previous frigate class.